Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for August the 17th of 2019, well, it is titled a 1901 photograph, the Orion Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken back in 1901 of the Orion Nebula. Now, if you think about that, 1901 was still part of the early days of photography. Starting in the mid-1800s, photography did exist, uh, but it was also a very uh, time-consuming and difficult uh, thing to do. And at the, around that time, or even a little earlier, then most things were done by hand. So people, an astronomer, would look through the telescope and would sketch out what they saw. And that is how things were done from the beginning of the telescope with the time of Galileo until photography became uh, efficient enough to be able to be used. And at the time, this one, this is actually what they call a photographic plate. So we're used to today digital photographs, so just a digital string of numbers that record and then are converted into an image. At this point, it was actually a piece of glass with a photographic emulsion on it, which would then be exposed to the sky. And in this case, a 50 minute long exposure to be able to bring out the Orion Nebula that we see here. So an object that we've seen many times, but this time as a uh, as taken over a hundred years ago. Now, more recently, many of these images have been digitized, so scanned and put into a digital format for ease of uh, use and sharing across various areas. And that's one of the, of course, advantages of digital uh, photography is that it's very easy to share images. Whereas when you have a piece of glass with your image on it, it's very difficult to share and to store. Storage requires uh, very important uh, controlled temperature and controlled humidity conditions in order to keep that emulsion and that image from deteriorating over time. So in this case, we now have the digital images and a lot of these are being converted so that they can still be used. And in fact, having a lot of these old images is important to be able to go back and look what things were like a hundred years ago or more. So what did the, what, how had things changed uh, in astronomy? We look at things and things don't change very quickly, but there are some cases where we want to see what were things like a hundred years ago. And this is a chance to be able to go and see and go back to look at the old archives of these images. And of course, the advance to photography was a very important one for astronomy to go from sketching things to photography was very important because you went from something that was subjective, something people drew, drew to something that is more objective, just the image, so that everyone would see the same image. So anyone looking at this image today is seeing the same thing, essentially, whereas if 10 different people had sketched the Orion Nebula on this day, you would have 10 different images of what it looked like. Everyone would be a little bit different because everybody sees things slightly differently and would be able to give us, you know, would highlight different areas, may see something else is more or less important. So it's one of the things that is going on to look at these images, uh, to study them and to bring them uh, up into the digital age. So that was our picture of the day for August the 17th of 2019. It was titled 1901 Photograph, the Orion Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Human Spaceship. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.